let g be any connected weighted undirected graph two statements statement one g has a unique minimum spanning tree if no two edges of g have the same weight statement two g has a unique minimum spanning tree if for every cut of g there is a unique minimum weight edge crossing the cut which of the above statements is or are true four options are given so this is a question from algorithm section regarding minimum spanning trees we will go through the statements statement one says g has a unique minimum spanning tree if no two edges of g have the same weight now this statement is true why that is true is if you consider kruskal's algorithm what we are doing is we will be sorting all the edges based on their weights and then we will be choosing edges one by one in that manner in order to add to the minimum spanning tree so when we are doing that if all the edges have different weights it will mean that there will finally the kruskal's algorithm will produce one unique graph only at any point so we can say that this is true statement 2 g has a unique minimum spanning tree if for every cut of g there is a unique minimum weight edge crossing the cut a cut means dividing a set of vertices into two parts so let us say these three are the vertices in a graph then a cut will mean removing all the edges joining this set of vertices to this set of vertices these two are the one sample example of cut which produces a vertices in this set and this set now g has a unique minimum spanning tree if for every cut of g there is a unique minimum weight edge crossing the cut they're saying that for every cut we can take inside g there is a unique minimum weight edge crossing that cut now let us say this statement is false and we have two minimum spanning trees given as t1 and t2 here let us say this edge e1 belongs to t1 and it doesn't belong to t1 imagine if t1 and t2 are not equal there should be at least one edge which is there in t1 that is not there in t2 only then these two will be different so i have drawn it as this particular edge e1 that edge is not there in this this, this minimum spanning tree t2 now if we take cut of vertices based on this particular edge that is by removing this edge i will get two set of vertices that is a tree on this part and a tree on this part that cut will look like this what i have drawn here now if i remove this i will get a cut like this now in this in t1 we are using this particular edge e1 in order to connect these two cuts and in t2 we will be using some other edge in order to connect these two cuts okay in t1 i am using e1 to obtain a minimum spanning tree in t2 i am obtaining this edge, this e2 connecting these two cuts in order to obtain the minimum spanning tree if t1 and t2 are both are the minimum spanning trees then it will mean that see this these many edges and these many edges are same for t1 and t2 only e1 and e2 are different if t1 and t2 are both minimum spanning trees it will mean that e1 and e2's edge weights should be same but in the question it was given that for every cut of g there is a unique minimum weight edge crossing the cut now that is a contradiction we got two cuts two edges having the same weight which and these two should be minimum as well which means that this is a contradiction and this has to be false in this cut whatever was the unique minimum weight edge we will be adding that to the minimum spanning tree if we add any other edge we will be getting a spanning tree which has a weight greater than minimum so there can't be two minimum spanning trees if this statement is satisfied that is there is a unique minimum weight edge crossing every cut so statement two is also true now looking at options that is both one and two